Go caught up with my, my childhood mate Eamon, grew up with since we were three years of age, so yeah, we'll see what's getting. How he's getting on. Go visit. There he is. How are you? How are you getting on? Not too bad. I made your staff. Thank you very much. To go with your uh, your dodgy leg and your scarred face. I'm well chuffed with this. <laughs> this is going to be my staff for life, I think. Yeah. I suppose you could call him what? A whittler? Is that the term? Green woodworker, maybe. Green woodworker. Yeah. Man, I've never had a stick before. Check this out. A bramble basket pulled out of the hedge. <laughs> that was top. something I was working on this morning. Oh, Jesus. So what exactly is this contraption? This is a pole laid. Uh, or a foot powered laid. I mean, these were like around before the Romans. This one I built recently and I haven't had much of a chance to use it yet. You have this other thing over there, what was it, what's it called? A uh, shaven horse. Uh, it's made out of a piece of larch, that, uh, a larch log that we saved out of a forest that it had fallen over and we put the same, the same wood and we got this Scots pine. Oh yeah. It's basically a foot operated vice. Grab, grab your work easily and quickly. Uh, and, you know, then you can use the, the draw knife here and shape it. And sh show us a few spoons you've made. It's really light. Yeah, that's one of the great things about wooden implements. Few people know the joys, I think, of eating with wooden spoons and wooden plates and bowls. You know, they're light, they're warm, they seem to suit somehow the kind of wholesome food that you eat off them. Yeah. You know, there's no kind of horrible scratching, screeching noises and stuff. You need to warm the plate up. I think it's great. Do you want to show us uh, making the spoon quickly? Or? What kind of spoon is it going to be? Cooking. Yeah, cooking spoon. Thanks Eamon for all that. We're just gonna head for a surf now. I'm gonna head out, see any waves. It looks a bit stormy, but sure, we'll go for a look.
such an epic drive. Thanks to the legend of Anton O'Looney once again. The Moy Community Garden was donated, his, that piece of field was donated by him. And then now this is down at Moy House and these are the old garden. But it's been disused for about three or five years, I'm not sure. And he knows I'm interested in gardening and he said, yeah, if you want to take them on, go for it. So it's a win-win. He gets his garden looking a bit better and we get to grow some food.